quickly. Uh, so I've got my uh, smoker over here, just, just a regular um, uh, smoke vault. We actually won this at a, um, a uh, Rocky Mountain Elk Foundation banquet. And uh, it's just an 18 by 18 smoke vault. Turns out that uh, I really like it. It's been a good machine. I have uh, another model over here that, uh, you know, it, it too is uh, a good machine. However, uh, it's a little smaller than this, and for cooking two chickens at once, I prefer the little wider smoker. So uh, what I have here is just a, a hickory chunk. Uh, I get these at my local uh, sporting goods store. Uh, I prefer the chunks over the um, chips because uh, they last longer, at least in this application anyway, and uh, apply plenty of flavor. Um, I haven't experimented much with chips. Um, you know, some folks use in this area madrone or cherry. Of course, there's a whole, you know, you name it, uh, you can get it. Even uh, mesquite, which if I was going to use hickory, I would, my next choice would be uh, mesquite. So um, I'll go ahead and put these in the pan. I've preheated my smoker to about 300 degrees for just a little bit, just to get everything cooked off and clean in there. Uh, you know, these things can get you know, kind of nasty through the summer from not using them every day. So, just bring my little drain pan out again. I love these little, um, they're called the Ugg Glove. Great, great uh, for doing any barbecue. And if you don't have one, you get them also at your local sporting goods stores where you get your chips a lot of times. you got some kind of little uh, Teflon on them or something. Take these chips, spread them out nice and even like so. Um, I'll put a little bit of water on these right from the get-go, uh, but typically I'll wait until you know um, they start smoking to cool them off with the water. So scoot that back in there. Take my glove off. Okay, Take our first chicken on our cooker here. I put uh, my rack right about in the middle. I found that to be about the best. And uh, you know, the whole point in uh, making the chicken cooker was its stability. You can see it's, man, that chicken's not going anywhere. So I kind of open them up a little bit. You know, they open their wings out, kind of open their legs up just a little bit so that uh, uh, smoke can get around the whole thing. Otherwise, kind of in the armpit area, um, you know, they might not get cooked as quick. Uh, that's been the other benefit of this uh, cooker is that because it's made from thicker three-quarter inch steel the base it actually gets heat hot enough that when it steams the uh, flavors whether it be beer or butter or whatever you chose to use it actually cooks from the inside out so uh, having that thick uh, piece of plate of steel on the bottom helps transfer the heat and shortens your cook time so um, in fact uh, it, um, as opposed to the, in comparison to the beer can chickens we've done in the past, uh, cook time is about half, which brings up another interesting point. Uh, USDA says 165 degrees uh, internal temperature on chicken. Um, uh, I think that was that's a minimum as well. Um, you know, as long as it reaches that temperature from their uh, standpoint, you should be safe. I recommend at least your first couple of times to get an internal uh, temperature uh, meat gauge, you know, so you know that you've gotten um, hot enough to kill any bacteria that might be in there. Uh, typically, once I get the chickens on and get the, the, the smoker uh, up to 250 degrees, I cook mine at 102, or 250 degrees uh, for about an hour. Uh, hour and a half right in there, but check that temperature, you know, because smokers vary, um, outside temperature, you know, how much water you're applying, there's just a lot of things that uh, are a factor in making sure that your chicken's done. So, again, make sure you've got one of these, and, you know, it's, um, uh, I think it's just smart to make sure that, you know, especially if you're feeding your kids or somebody else's kid, to make sure that your chicken's cooked, and it's a waste if you don't. So we'll get our other chicken on here. And this bird can slide right in here beside that one. Open them the uh, armpits up and the wings up just a little bit. I try not to uh, let mine touch uh, each other. I try not to let them touch each other or the sides. Uh, that'll put a burn mark in them. Um, 
you know, part of good food is, you know, uh, presentation, you know, what it looks like. And if it's a nice, solid, golden brown, you know, it just looks good, uh, better. And uh, even you got to put these in there a little bit, kitty corn, however you got to do it, so they're not touching uh, each other to make sure that they cook, you know, there's no uh, spots that don't get cooked thoroughly. Um, so uh, I'll just close this thing up. Um, and crank our heat up until we get to 250 degrees. And it'll take some time to, to get up to temperature, and, and uh, it takes me some fiddling sometimes uh, to get the temperature exactly at 250 degrees where I like to cook uh, chicken, which might be a little hot for some people, but uh, that seems to work really, really well for, for this application. It gets that uh, plate steel nice and hot and, and uh, you know, cooks it fast enough that uh, we're ready to eat tonight, uh, you know, within a reasonable amount of time. When I first started doing beer can chicken, um, it was, two hour cook time was not that uncommon. So, uh, keep your chips ready. If your pan gets black, your, you know, uh, your chips get black, you're not getting good smoke, then uh, uh, you want to change them out. Black chips create uh, bitterness in your meat, so you want to make sure you have fresh enough chips that uh, um, you're, you know, generating that sweet hickory taste. Even if you've got to take a spatula, you know, pull that pan out and stir them up occasionally so that, uh, you know, the bottom's not getting burnt and, and penetrating your wood with the uh, uh, bitter um, uh, flavors. So, again, keep your water ready, uh, keep that pan somewhat cool, keep that drip pan cool. So that, that don't burn in there, especially if you're going to cook as hot as I like to, 250, uh, it'll sure help you out. So uh, we'll let these babies cook and uh, 